Hello everyone. It's so good to be here again. I have missed this space. I have missed teaching. So this is going to be the first video after a long time of absence. This time, we are going to be discussing what we call field development planning. I love this subject. It's um, something that carries so much detail when it comes to reservoir engineering or petroleum engineering. So in this video, we're going to discuss it briefly. Then in subsequent video, I'll be giving uh, a lot more details. Now, before I dive into uh, details of this video, I want to quickly share a couple of information. First of all, there's going to be a training on field development planning. I'm going to be holding a training. A couple of persons have requested for um, these classes and I'll be sharing more details as time goes on. I have also created a WhatsApp group. If you're interested to join the WhatsApp group, please use this link. You're going to be interacting with reservoir engineers and people of like minds in that group from everywhere in the world. Let us take the discussion of reservoir engineering further into this group. Please use this link. It's a very simple link and um, let's get along together on, on the WhatsApp group. Now, what is a field development plan or FDP for short? You see, as a reservoir engineer, you have a lot of responsibilities which are bestowed upon you. To be able to perform as a good reservoir engineer, there are a couple of skills that you are expected to have. You need to be involved in a lot of things, working with several professionals on a particular project. For example, interacting with the geology team to quality check the geologic models that they have built. You need to QC it to ensure its consistency with what you are expecting to get from the engineering side of things. You are expected to understand formation evaluation because you are going to be working closely with the petrophysics team. You need to understand log interpretation. In fact, at some point, you are required to personally uh, do some well logs interpretation as regards production logs. You need to understand how to perform reservoir characterization. This is very important. So you should be able to define the type of fluid that is encountered in the reservoir. You also need to be able to delineate the drive energy of a particular reservoir or a field. You are going to be working with wells a lot. In fact, this is where most of your reservoir engineering recommendations are going to be coming from. They're going to have a lot to do with wells. You will be expected to work closely with the drilling team as well. I mean, you should be able to advise the drilling engineers what to do when it comes to choosing well locations, completion designs, initial offtake rates, and so on. In some projects, you will need to understand the operations of surface processes and facility designs. I mean, how do you intend to evacuate the hydrocarbons that have been produced from your reservoirs? Or how do you plan to carry out your water treatments? Most importantly, you need to know how to perform project economics evaluations. You will be expected to make economic analysis with production forecasts that you have generated from your engineering models. You need to be able to determine the viability of the assets which is under your study. Should the operator go on to invest in this asset or not? If the operator invests in this asset, when is it going to break even? When will it begin to make profit? Can your economic model help the asset operator to acquire loan from the banks? So all of these things are tasks which the reservoir engineer or the petroleum engineer uh, is involved in. So whatever you have come up with in your studies, the results and your recommendations, they will all be documented in a report which is known as FDP report. So basically, an FDP report will contain all the necessary supports for oil field optimization operations. 
and it will include all of the activities and processes which are required to optimally develop an oil field. At any level you find yourself right now, every task that you perform as a reservoir engineer will somehow contribute to building a field development plan. Maybe documented or not, but that is what you are doing. Now, once you realize this, you will know exactly the job that you have been paid to do. Do you want to get better? To end this video, I have a couple of questions that I want to ask you. Have you seen an FDP report before? Have you created an FDP report before? Can you create a comprehensive FDP? Something that is valuable to an operator. Can you do all of these things? Not that it's very difficult, but do you have the experience? Now, in my next video, we're going to look in more closely at a field development plan and all the elements which will normally make up an FDP report. I'll also be sharing information about my upcoming FDP training course in case you're interested. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button to show your love and support for this channel. Once again, you can use this link below to join my WhatsApp group where you'll be able to meet with other reservoir engineers and like minds for more discussion. See you in the next video.